There are various principles that we can apply to relationships. Now I'm basically going to apply them to a parent with a child. But the same principles are true of a teacher with a classroom, a business owner with the employees, etc. They're biblically based principles in establishing relationship. And you know what? They all start with A's. Many people call them the seven A's of parenting. Now, I didn't do that on purpose. I'm not good at alliterating and everything. I leave that to Chuck Swindoll and everybody else. But this time I looked back, I said, I can't believe it. They all started with A's. The first is affirmation. When we affirm the emotions of a child, we give them a sense of authenticity. Paul wrote about this in Romans 12, 15, when it says this. Now, your translations would probably say, Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep or mourn with those who mourn. The New Living Translation puts it this way, and it's kind of kind of exciting to see how they explain that culturally. It says this. When others are happy, be happy with them. That's what it means to rejoice with those who rejoice. And if they are sad, share their sorrow. If there's any one principle I wish I would have learned before I ever became a husband or a father, it was this principle. When I think how many times over the years I wounded my wife or my children because I never understood this principle of affirmation. What I want to do is take one more segment with this, part two, and illustrate how to apply affirmation in a relationship within your family. And when you do, it gives that child a sense of authenticity.